Hey guys, hope you're all well. It's it's ridiculous o'clock in the middle of the night somewhere, three o'clock-ish or something like that. <laughs> I can't sleep. It's because I'm thinking about this. I need to get it done now, so it's all back in one piece. And like I say, we've got all the bench space back. We've no Arley parts scattered everywhere. So yeah, um, with this early start, I plan to make full use of it, get the front end out, clean all that up, and paint that bottom yoke and the bottom of the forks, because they're a bit pitted here and there, which, which is normal, you know what I mean? They're right at the front of the bike. They're gonna take a lot of the brunt of the, the stone chips and things like that off the road. So we're gonna get them painted as well. Um, I know I was going to get the bottom yoke powder coated, but Alex is still crazy busy. So I've got some paints, I've got some clear lacquers and stuff like that. So we should be able to get a really nice finish on that. So that's what I'm going to do. At least there's a good chance today, we're starting so early, that front end will be out, sorted and back in. And then that is the biggest chunks of the bike done really. I've just got then to... Um, can't get me words out, I'm tired, it's early. <laughs> I've then got to do all the little patches on the engine and sort that out. I know I've started them, but I need to finish some of them and then get some sort of textured finish into them. I've started that little cover there, <clears throat> which is over here. If you remember, we had this great big chip out of it here, which I've managed to repair. Uh, so I've been building a few coats up <clears throat> and flattening that out till it's uh, sort of disappeared. <clears throat> oh dear, I think I need a cup of tea. <coughs> oh. Anyway, I'm going to get that textured up today as well. Do that throughout the day, a couple of coats on that. We've had uh, delivery of the front brake pads for the Harley where I've put them, they're over here. I don't know why my bench is mounting up again of clutter. I'm not the tidiest of workers. I've got to admit. <laughs> yeah, we got brake pads. We've also had them rose joint ends come for the uh, the brake rod. So that looks a load better. And <clears throat> if you remember what we had on that end, it just weren't right. So. That now, to me, put that down there, is how it should be. I've got to align the back wheel, that's not done up yet. I've just got to align that, make sure the belt's at the right tension, get that done up. Uh, let's put this down there a minute. <clears throat> I've got these fancy caps. Well, they're not fancy, they just make it look a bit better and tidier. I've got these caps that go over the axle nuts and stuff like that. Oh, we've had a we've had a piston arrive as well yesterday. Nice shiny Enfield piston. Because some of the Enfield bits, I know, I'll get I do get majority of the stuff off Hitchcocks, but you know where I can make a saving because we've having to buy so much, I will. So some bits I do get from elsewhere, and obviously, just in case I didn't know the guys wrote rings on there. Just in case, you never know. I might open them and wonder what they are. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, in between popping the front end out, we're going to be painting that, tidying everything up. I've got, remember this hole here, I weren't sure. I think it's for a different seat. I've got a little bung in there now to cover that up. So yeah, we're just working through it. Anyway. Let's see if we can get this front end out. Right, front end. So I think, oh, bear, bear with me, I know it's pretty much like most bikes, but I've never had a front end out of one of these before. It looks like these, are these caps aftermarket, these little caps up here, all you Ali professionals. I can see a little grub screw around there actually. I'm gonna try and keep as much of it together as possible and just get the bits out that I want. <laughs> I've just had an Allen key set in my hand. 
It's gone. There it is. Ooh, that doesn't feel very nice. What is it with every single fixing on this bike? I don't want to undo that. Is it gonna go? Oh, yeah, 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 we good, we good. Literally every single fixing has got thread lock on. <laughs> I know these bikes vibrate a bit. <laughs> Wow. It gets uh, interesting when you come to strip them out, whether you're gonna have stuff snap or come out. That reminds me, I have had one bolt that snapped, haven't I? Remember right back, I think it was on the red wreck, so when the front end comes out, I'll be able to get in that with a drill and sort that out. I have got new fixings for that as well. Right, I can move that now. Let's pop that fixing back in so we don't lose it. There we go. Ah, I guess then they are aftermarket, look. Cult work. Is that German? Can't see the small writing. Can't see, hang on my glasses on. Got my glasses on. Curiosity got me. Yeah, I think it's German, cook work. Look at this, carbon. Carbon fibre motor to the pass for four thousand three hundred euro. Wow. Ouch. You get a whole bike for that. Anyway, let's carry on. A bit of brass. Tap this front wheel spindle out. These don't look very good. Let's hope these come off all right. So we got uh, one of them sockets that will grip it nicely. Well, should do. Or maybe should have done this. Oh, hang up. Hey. They were really easy. That has surprised me. I think I have some new ones, new fixings for these. I'll have a rummage through in a minute. I'm pretty sure we have some in Gertrude's special bag of goodies. Just let that carefully hang there a minute. Oh, I don't know if we're going that short. Have right, a look. Right, been scooting through the bag of goodies. The ones I was thinking of were these, but these are way too long. These are the ones that have come out. We don't really want to put them back in, do we? Nah. Uh, so yeah, they're obviously way too long. I've got these ones. I know they're slightly different, but they're clean. 
what I will do is uh, just skim them off in the lathe so they look more more custom anyway I think these are metric the uh, caliper bolts well, there's one way to find out isn't they get a metric nut uh, rummage through what's that yeah they're metric oh nice so yeah someone was right there is a mix on them right these are all loosened off coming out nice and easy one That one wants a bit of encouragement. Bit of nylon, get a tap on the top. Oh, that ship's very now, nice, surely. Okay, just checking over the forks. I've just quickly ran one round the polishing mop really lightly and they've come in up fine. See, I've done that one. So you got all that fur in. But it just comes off. I guess, uh, and, and uh, they're not leaking at all, which is good. <laughs> if it works, leave it alone. <laughs> uh, someone's had a go at these forks before, painting them, obviously because you can see all the chips there and someone's laid it in with black which is fair enough you know it's uh, obviously someone's trying to tidy them up a little bit so what we'll do we'll get all that black off and give them a complete fresh coat of paint I've got the caliper off because uh, I'll change all the brake fluid I've done it with the rear one got all the rear one freed up and working nicely so I'll do the same with that one the coatings actually look all right on it. That brake fluid won't affect that, by the way, but uh, we'll get a wipe over. Let's get a bit of rag. A bit of blue roll. Look at the mess I'm in. <laughs> when this thing's in one piece, I'll be having a massive cleanup before the Enfield engine gets underway. In fact, hold on. Hold on. What about that? There we go. So yeah, the coatings look good. It just needs a bit of love, a bit of a clean up. Anyway, yeah, we'll get all them stripped off. We'll get them looking nice. I'll polish the other one. Right, now for the uh, bottom yoke. I think because them forks are trapped in these tubes, probably a bit of moisture's got in there and sent them, like, furring up. And probably what I may do when we put them back together, I'll just give them a smear of grease just to give them a bit of a chance. Anyway, let's get the bottom yoke off. Right, pinch bolt undone. Now for the top one. I'm guessing as I undo this one, it's all gonna go south. Let's deal with them first. Ah, shoulder. <laughs> They're quite thick, aren't they? Same place. Cult works. Looks like the uh, cables have been rubbing on there. We'll give them a coat as well. 
Right. Cover the tank up. And drop this old breaker bar down there so the bars don't topple off. That'll hold them good enough. Right. We've got another rusty fixing to deal with there. Mm, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's come and done. We've got a fair bit of fair bit of cleaning up to do on this one. How long was that? <laughs> there we go. Nice. Right then, I got me uh, I got me little pile of mess to sort out. Uh, next jobs are really involve power tools. It's a, still a little bit early for that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the shed a bit of a much needed clean up, and then we'll start attacking stuff. It's like this. I, I can't get the bearing off because this steering lock stop it's got a bit of a burr on there look so I've got to dress all that back and we'll tidy all this up and then uh, start getting all this dressed back along with these so there's a fair amount of work to do in preparing for paint so that's going to take me a few hours um, like I say I can't fire any power tools up yet it's a bit too early so I'm going to have a clean up, have a cup of tea, and that's going to take me a while, so I'll be back with you in a couple of seconds. Right, time's finally moving on. I've managed to get the back off the speedo, so I can get all this tidied up properly and painted. And this little hood here, cover, headlight bracket, I'm going to do that as well while I'm on the front end. That is, uh, that's quite a fixing, just to hold a little tiny headlight on. Wow. That's huge. Right, I've got all this loose ready. There we go. It's got a bit of bubble in there, so I'll just flat the lot off and give it a, a fresh coat it'll look a bit better okay then that's our work pile for the day there's a fair amount of work there actually you know to do it all nicely to get all the old uh, coating off and everything or at least get it all flatted back so it's nice and smooth so we've got the two covers there, the two fork legs, we've got the brake caliper to sort out, uh, the little hood there for the headlight, and the worst bit is that bottom yoke, which I'm going to start first. So the first little job on that is to get rid of that little burr there so we can pull the bearing off.
did the bottom of these because there were some bits I couldn't quite get into so there's remnants of the old coating luckily it wasn't flaking it was actually stuck very good so I just sort of flatted the edges out and the primer seems to have gone on nice with no steps where it was so that's good uh, it's going to be the same with this we've got to mash this up because I can't really get into there well I could but you know it'll probably take me an hour or so with the Dremel so it's not flaking it's stuck really nice I think we can go over there quite nicely and it'll be okay so I'm going to mask that up and get that primed up next so we can get all the primers dry and get little spots where I can hang everything up and just have at it finish primers and get to uh, get going with the black forward to the following day ah uh, it, it's been a bit of a task this has again when when you start looking closely at things and when you start removing bits and stuff like that it, you know it always seems i won't say worse i shouldn't put it like that there's a few more jobs than what you intended to do i'll put it that way <laughs> anyway everything's had all night to go off and dry so today I should be getting the front end back in the bike. I've got a bit more touching up to do on the frame, which I'm gonna do now as my next job, but we'll just have a, a quick look through everything. So I've got the bottom yoke all done. That's all in gloss as it was. Not bad for a rattle can. We got the fork tubes done. There were fork tubes up here, along with a couple of other bits. But yeah it's got a shine to it it's tidy it's respectable uh, there's a few things that are done in the satin black like the little hood that goes over the headlights headlight i should say that's a bit fresher now oh i had a go at that uh cover getting the uh texture finish i don't know how well you'll see that i'll try and move it around in the light so you can see bits but we've got a texture there and I was going to try and create that myself but after sp scouring the internet for spray that does a fine texture there's a lot of these wrinkle finishes I've had them in the past and the texture on them is really heavy which wouldn't have matched what we got on the engineer because it's extremely fine. So I was gonna try and create it myself, but then I come across a tin that's a fine texture and it seems to be okay. This stuff. Yeah, it seems to work. It sprays on really nice. 
and it's a really nice even finish so i think we've cracked that one uh what else we got Whew, it's just cleaning the odd bits i've been sorting out all new nuts and bolts and fixings for everything that we've taken off so we'll get all that sorted but i say i'm just going to touch the rest of this frame in and then we'll start putting the bike back together it'd be nice to see it back in one piece and standing on the floor without stands and jacks and everything like that anyway let's crack on
<sighs> right, that's some progress at last. It feels like I'm getting somewhere. I am exhausted. It has been a, such a long weekend. Some big, big hours. Uh, yeah, it, it's coming on now. It is back on the floor, back on two wheels. So, uh, what we got next? Oh, I should have some Enfield parts here tomorrow to start getting cracking on that. Hopefully they'll be here in the morning, a big box of engine parts. So on this, what we got next? Uh, We've got to get that casing back on, but first I've got some more tidying up to do on the engine and get some of the texturing finish sorted out and uh, looking a bit better. It's all a bit dusty at the moment, but it's certainly looking better. Pleased with the front end. Got my grubby fingerprints here and there. <laughs> but compared to what it was like, I think it's an improvement. Front wheel's cleaned up nicely. Yeah, it's coming together. So I've got to get the, the reg wreck back on, but I'm going to do some toddying on the engine first. The little cover that I made back on. The frame's looking a lot better. You can see that. Much more presentable compared to what it was like. I've got the little covers to put on the back wheel nuts i've got them we're gonna get them on yeah obviously the exhausts have got to go back on again i'm leaving them till we've uh, finished sorting the engine out but well, it's about there i think the main job that we got left is just tidying the engine up a little bit and just try and yeah make it look a bit better than what it is then everything can go back on the exhaust the reg wreck and stuff like that obviously the forward controls get all them back on yeah, it's about there oh, it's a monumental effort over the weekend so it'll free the week up i do plan on a couple of other things over this week I'm, because i've worked all weekend i'm going to at least try and have a day off in the week I just feel exhausted today. <laughs> Look at him. I know what you're doing. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. He's eyeing my dinner up. <laughs> you are. Look at him. Are you waiting for a sandwich? I'll share my sandwich with you. Don't worry. <laughs> It's like a kid's pat lunch, like this lot of them. <laughs> uh, that's what it's like when uh, a bloke fends for himself. <laughs> Tuna sandwiches, a yoghurt and some cheese. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm ready to sort of... Computers there. Get on and edit this video and then my day will be done. It's about half past nine already at night, so it's going to be a long, long day. I've still got a couple of hours of editing, but hey -oh, at least the video will go out probably early hours of Monday morning. We'll see how my editing goes, if I fall asleep sat up right in that chair or not. But yeah, that's about it. Enfield parts here tomorrow, so we'll, I'll probably do a little video of going through them and what we got. I'm going to try and grab one day off in the week because it's been a long weekend. I feel like I want to go and do something and reach up. Hello? <laughs> what are you up to? Hey? What are you up to? Anyone think you'd starve him? <laughs> I've just fed him as well. He's just had his dinner. <laughs> It'd eat till he pops. Anyway, that'll do me. I'm going to get this video edited. Edit. 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 Go and get me words out. <laughs> get this video edited that you've just watched. And... Uh, 
get my head down for the night. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.